Hey guys, how's it going? Ah, it's your boy. He's back, you know. We're just gonna chill out today, you know. We're just gonna relax, have a good time. Look at the laundry, I'm not gonna fold. There's just two things I wanna chat about. And of those two things, one is Stranger Things. Stranger Things season three, banger. Like, I don't know. Kind of figured it was kind of the same as like the first season. Like, kind of the same idea. Except where like, oh yeah, spoiler alerts for anybody that actually cares and wants to watch it. But same thing as season one. Like, it's like the mind flare or whatever the frig is like. He's a freaking monster now. And he has, he picks Picks a host, this time it's not Will, it's freaking Billy. And Billy just keeps freaking bringing people to him and makes them, turns them into mushy people and turns them into a big monster. And now half the town is freaking dead, but I guess half everyone that got turned into like um, the monster didn't really matter. Like they weren't like an important part of the show. Except for Billy. Billy died. I enjoyed Billy's character. He was kind of like an antagonist or something like that. Like not everybody liked him, but he was there and he, he, he tried. Like when he was crying in the shower. That was kind of real. It was, it was good acting. Good job whoever plays Billy. That was a good job. But yeah, good season all in all. I crushed it all in one day. Like, today's Tuesday. So yesterday, I didn't make a video because I was watching Stranger Things. And I, I crushed the whole the whole new season in a single day. So it was like nine hours of watching TV. Just chilling in my bed. Watched it right there. And yeah. Good episodes. I don't know. Let me know in the comments all, I think, how many subs do we got right now? Let, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. We have, we currently Currently have click on the channel here 69 subscribers so I expect 69 comments comment your favorite Netflix show mine the office breaking bad okay your top three the office breaking bad top five the office breaking bad and probably this lighting is weird okay the office breaking bad suit stranger things <sighs> Five, eh? Probably How I Met Your Mother. It's not like an. It, it's a great show, you know? Love it. Second topic Quiet fucking Leonard. Piece of shit. I fucking hate you. You know what? We gave you everything. We gave you Unreal Players. We gave you so much support. You had a whole country behind you. Toronto's a great city. You can eat anywhere in the city for free. Like, I mean, you're making millions anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, I couldn't. I can't. I just. I can't. I can't fathom why you, you win a championship in a city and then you freaking leave you leave I hate you I don't like you anymore I and like same thing same thing with the Raptors it's half Kawhi half rap Raptors couldn't do what Kawhi wanted them to do to make him stay so like fuck the Raptors I'm not a Raptors fan anymore you know what I'm jumping ship I put through the derosion bullshit I, I watched the, us get freaking clapped by LeBron every freaking year and finally LeBron's gone and we can't even keep the guy that's winning us chat we can't you know what yeah comes a great player. Van Vliet's a great player. But you know who's better than both of them combined is Paul fucking George and Russell Westbrook. You know, if we could have got both of those boys, you imagine the fucking championship? Imagine! We would have the big three. That, that's like Kawhi, George, Westbrook. We don't even need Lowry. We don't even need Van Vliet. We don't even need Powell. We don't see Akam. We got those three boys. Those three boys be putting up 90, 100 points a night. We, do, we don't need anybody else on the team. Like, oh... Um, I, I bought a fake Kawhi Leonard jersey, but like, I don't like this guy right here. He's, it's, it's fake. Like, I, I'm not paying freaking, I'm not paying $200 for a fucking jersey. Like, get the fuck out of here. Your prices are fucked. Like, you pay $30 to get it made in China and then just rack it up when it fucking gets over here. And it's like, get fucked. <laughs> So I'll just buy it straight from China. Like, link in the description. I'll show you where I buy all my fake jerseys. They look legit. Um, never any complaints. Just always check the reviews because some of the freaking people do make shitty jerseys. But if it's got five star reviews, they make good jerseys and you can't even tell the difference. So I just bought a Ryan O'Reilly jersey. So yeah, still can't believe he left. Um, I'm not a Raptors fan anymore. I'm probably not even watching basketball anymore. I could fucking care less. <sighs> I'm kind of tricked. Anyway, hockey season starting up soon. So the boys, boys, they're making you heard it here first. We're gonna fi finish either third or second in the Pacific. Vegas probably gonna finish first, I'm, if I'm gonna be honest. And then it'll be a, a tango between Vancouver and Calgary for that second, third spot. That's what I'm thinking. And then the rest fight for wild card because San Jose is not the same team. 
Um, they got they got big boys on defense, but they lost Joe. They lost like they lost Joe. Mm, they lost her. They lost the man. That uh, the only reason they were good. So yeah, um, Vancouver making plus. P Patterson's gonna hit up. How many points did he get last year? 80. 80. I think he got 80. 80 something. It wasn't 80 on the dot. It was between 80 and 90. I'm like pretty sure. Let me type it in real quick. Just give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Elliot Patterson stats. All right, so we're scrolling down here. Oh, he did not get 80. He got 66 points in 71 games. So he missed 11 games. Damn near point per game player. He had 28 goals, 38 assists. The boy, he's getting at least 90 points next season. If he doesn't get injured, if everything looks good, 90 points. Bester's gonna have a bounce back year, hopefully. He's kind of, well, he didn't have a bad year, but he could have had a better year. You know what I'm saying? Horvat, gonna, Horvat's just gonna carry the team to victory. Berchi stays healthy. We're gonna have great, great depth on, on offense. Um, we got Levo, we got Berchi, we got Godet, we got Pedersen, Besser. I'm missing people, but I'm sorry. We picked up JT Miller, another great pickup to pay with, play with Petty. That way, Besser. This is this is how I want the lines to be. I want Pedersen, first line, play with JT Miller and Jake for Tannen. That's what I want. Pedersen, Miller, for Tannen. And then second line, Horvat, Besser, Berchi. That way, we don't, we're not wasting Besser with Pedersen. Pedersen's good no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter who he plays with, he's going to be good. But if you put Horvat, Besser, that makes Besser and Horvat one two punch that you, can, you just can't. You know what I'm saying? And then you put Berchi on the wing with him. And if Berchi isn't fl well, flying with uh, Besser and Horvat, flip him with Fertanen. Like, just flip those two around, you know? Oh. <sighs> I can't wait. Our third line, you know, we gotta get rid of, I, I say we gotta get rid of Louis Eric, but try him with Petters, just try it, you know? Because it might work. It, it, it just might work. It might revive his career. We have him. There's no point swapping him for Lucic. Lucic is worse than Erickson. We don't need that. We already have the big tough guy in Britannia. <sighs> if we trade for Lucic, I'll be kind of upset. Um, Because Lucic is old, not good. He's just not a good player. He had like six goals last year. And he played with McDavid quite a bit. So, and best player in the league. So if you can't, more than six goals on a guy with the guy who's like best player in the league you, you're you're you, you belong in the minors but anyway um quinn hughes hopefully have a great rookie season compete for the calder i think he could you know a little brotherly rivalry with jack you quinn you know they can uh they can lash it out for whatever they whatever you, the calder um jack will probably get it because that kid's fucking unreal um and he's gonna be playing with t hall so probably gonna be jack calder next year not gonna lie um capo caco could do something much or new york made some moves so caco could be good Playing with Zabinajad, or they picked up another center. I can't remember who though. But yeah, looking things are looking bright in Vancouver. That's all that matters. But hope you guys enjoyed the quick little chat. Um, yeah. So kind of got a little bit of an upscale schedule. It'll kind of, it'll almost always be on this day. And if I miss the day, expect it the very next. So I want to do three videos a week. Okay, three. That's because I want to put time. I want to edit them, and because it takes a while to edit. Like people don't understand. Like editing takes a lot of time. To edit like a 10-minute video, it takes at least two hours. Two, maybe even. And like that, that, when you're trying to get other shit done in your day, you're going to the gym, fixing your car, all this other, doing laundry, washing dishes. It's time consuming. And uh, yeah, but sometimes even four hours, man. Depends how much effort you want to put into it. Like it, you can put a whole day into a video. Easy. But yeah, so Mondays, Thursdays, and either Saturday or Sunday. So pretty much two videos on the weekend and one in the weekday. So it'll probably be either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday for sure. Thursday for sure all the time. And then either Saturday or so yeah. Watch out for those. Um, you guys are enjoying the videos you know drop a thumbs up yeah so enjoy them like them subscribe them and i'll see you in the next time hey boy thanks for